Good morning and welcome. My name is Doris. This is a word of wisdom that the Lord gave me that I'm going to share with us today. You know, it is always important to understand the time and the season that you are in because God works with us through time and season. And if you miss out on a season, you never know when God is going to visit you again with that particular season. And for every season, the enemy will always try to sabotage so that you don't receive what God has purposed for you for that particular season. So wisdom and understanding is very important for you to walk out effectively the promises of God in your life, to walk out a season in your life and receive all that God has for you. Before we continue with this word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name. Lord, thank you for yet another opportunity to share your word. Lord, I pray that this word is going to be a blessing and encouragement and a revelation. Anoint your word. Lord, even as I release it in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Your heart is the source of everything that you do. King Solomon says that it is the wellspring of life. Your heart overflows into your thoughts. It overflows into your words. It overflows into your actions. Your heart is always under constant attack. But unfortunately, many people are oblivious to this reality of war that is going on in their hearts. You see, there is this person that we have been relating to very well. There is no time that you have ever had any altercation or any disagreement of whatever sort. But then that just out of nowhere, this person just became called towards me. And whenever we would meet, I could see that they were not at peace with me. And there are times even when I would interact with them, they would their response would be very aggressive or harsh. And I really could not figure out what was going on. I could not understand what was happening. And I was concerned. I was really concerned. And I was what in fact I had purposed to meet this person and find out what is going on and just you know, I thought maybe something was going or I had done something and I didn't know I had offended them in some way and I was not I didn't know. But as I was in prayer, as I was praying through this issue, the Lord said to me, God, your heart, it is an attack. You see, the devil always wants to cause offense in your heart. The devil always wants you offended. He always uses that tactic, especially when you are at the age of your breakthrough. And, and, and many are now at that at that time in your life where you are you are at a you are in a season of receiving you are at that point where you are supposed to be receiving from the lord and it is important for you to stay focused on the lord and don't be distracted with the devil's side shows the enemy knows that an offended heart it is a sick heart and a sick heart cannot receive anything from the lord there is a spiritual battle for your heart at this time the state of your heart defines the direction and the impact of your life and the devil wants to keep you from being all that god wants you to be the devil wants to keep you from receiving all that the lord wants you to receive and you must receive what god has for you for this season many of you have waited for a long time many of you I've been praying for a long time and you are in that season where you are supposed to be receiving from the Lord and the enemy wants you offended because it is in the receiving where many people miss it. Make sure, make sure that you have authentic relationships in your life at this time. In this season, you must prioritize your relationship with the Lord. You must make it a top priority in your life and guard it jealously. Make intimacy and fellowship with God your top priority. You see, the Holy Spirit will always give you a heads up of what the enemy is up to so that you can counter it, so that you can 
so that you cannot you cannot falter the lord is saying to you that it is an attack guard your heart that offense that is coming your way it is an attack your heart can deceive you that your desires your emotions they can lie to you this is not the place to place your trust only god knows you and he knows things about you that even you yourself don't know you must totally trust in the lord in this season and you can only develop that trust through intimacy through fellowship with him proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 it says trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths you have been you see in this season of receiving the enemy will always come after your heart because a sick heart cannot receive a heavy heart is unable to receive there are people for some of you who you looked up to you depended on but they didn't turn out to be who you thought they were they didn't come through for you some have been secretly jealous and envious of you and you're not even aware of it and the enemy had purpose to use them to cause offense in your heart you must guard your heart you must guard your heart in this season what god desires above all that we do is communion and intimacy with him we are in a season where the lord is drawing his bride closer to him there is an urgency in the atmosphere for prayer for worship and the lord wants to purge your heart he wants you healed He wants your heart healed. The Lord is doing a deep and inner healing in the hearts of so many in this season. And many of you have neglected fellowship with the Lord. You have neglected intimacy with the Lord and have been involved in a lot of business thinking that it is what pleases God. And please don't get me wrong. It is important to serve. It is important to serve in your local community, in your local church. You see people always say that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. They always use that phrase. And when they say that, what they mean, what they are referring to as your labor are the physical activities that we are involved in in the church, in the community, but God desires above all that that you labor in fellowship, labor in intimacy, labor in prayer, labor in worship, labor in your life, in your love for him. This is how you guard your heart. Communion and intimacy is the found, is the fundamental reason for which God created you. And there's nothing There is nothing that you can do to him that can supersede that. Beyond your experience, beyond your knowledge, beyond your skills, your heart is the most valuable. In Luke chapter what chapter is it? Luke chapter 10 verses 41 and 42. Jesus admonishes Martha saying, "Martha, Martha, you have worried and upset about many things but few things are needed or indeed only one mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her first samuel chapter 16 verses 7 it says but the lord said unto samuel look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature because i have refused him for the lord seek not as man sees for man looks at the outward appearance but the lord looks at the heart the lord knows what it is in your heart 
you see with God, everything you do for him or others, it has to come from a place of love. It's usually not what you do per se, but the motive behind it. Your motive is what is going to determine how God will relate to you. In this season, it is very important to guard your heart because and the enemy wants to attack the heart through disappointment. He wants to attack your heart through discouragement and even disillusionment so that you can quit on God and miss out on receiving your blessing. Proverbs 4, 23, it says, King Solomon is the one who said this and he said it best. Guard your heart above all else, for out of it springs issues of life. The heart, it says, is the most deceptive. Who can know it? Only God knows what it is in your heart. So guard your heart, because there is an attack that is being unleashed on your heart right now. And the attack is offense. You must receive what God has for you in this season. God bless you.